and the spit on the reds. Shot A, John Spencer. Ray Reardon in 1978. Shot B, trailing in points against Perry Mounds. He goes for the last red to take the championship. Shot B, Ray Reardon. Terry Griffiths making his debut in 1979. Shot C, frame ball in the final, the yellow. And off two cushions for perfect position. Shot C, Terry Griffiths. To Thorburn, 1980, the first overseas winner. Shot D, a typical Canadian plant. Notice how far apart the two reds are. But he gets the plant. Shot D, Cliff Thorburn. Steve Davis in 1981. This is shot E, a champion shot, the black off the spot. Shot E, Steve Davis. Alex Higgins in 1982, his memorable semi-final against Jimmy White. He needs all the balls on the table to steal the frame. And watch the cue ball. Shot F. Shot F is Alex Higgins. Ray Reardon, 1982, our first shot of the championship winner. Shot G, showing how a snooker is laid. Behind the black. Perfect. Shot G, Ray Reardon. To Thorburn, 1983, then it was shot of the championship winner, the yellow to keep the 147 going. And position. Shot H, Cliff Thorburn. Jimmy White in 1984 for shot I. He refuses the easy pink for a brave try on the brown, coming back against Steve Davis. Again, position. Shot I, Jimmy White. Neil Folds, 1984, shot of the championship winner. Shot J, he needs a snooker, only pink and black on the table. This is the 1984 shot of the championship. In shot of the decade, shot J, Neil Folds. Dennis Taylor, 1985, shot K, the most dramatic finish in any world championship. The black for the world title. Shot K, Dennis Taylor. Rex Williams was 1985 shot of the championship winner. Shot L, he requires two snookers, only pink and black on the table. There's the first. Shot L, Rex Williams. The first of four from this year, Tony Knowles. It's shot M. He can't see the plant behind the pink. He attempts a cannon. Shot M, Tony Knowles. Jimmy White, six all in his match against John Parrott, is shot N. He's up against the far cushion, a long red. White shot N. And Kirk Stevens, who requires the three balls left to steal the frame, it's shot O. Look how far away the blues. And just watch position on the pink. Shot O, Kirk Stevens. And finally, Terry Griffiths versus Alex Higgins this year for shot P, the final frame. A long red, but not into the middle pocket. Terry Griffiths, shot, peak.
shot of the decade, just to remind you then, shot A, John Spencer, 1977. Shot B, Ray Reardon, 1978. Shot C, Terry Griffiths, 1979. Shot D, 1980, Cliff Thorburn. Shot E, 1981, Steve Davis. And shot F, 1982, Alex Higgins. Shot G, 1982 again, the first shot of the championship winner, Ray Reardon. Shot H, Cliff Thorburn, 1983 shot of the championship, the 147 yellow. Shot I, 1984, Jimmy White. Shot J, the shot of the championship in 1984, Neil Folds. Shot K, the 1985 black, Dennis Taylor. Shot L, Rex Williams, shot of the championship in 1985. The first of four from this year, shot M, Tony Knowles. Shot N, Jimmy White. Shot O, Kirk Stevens. And finally, shot P, Terry Griffiths. 16 shots, 12 players over 10 years. This is how you fill in your entry. And on a postcard only, please, and please include your name, address, and daytime telephone number if possible. We want you to select the first, second, and third shots in the order you